Hello and welcome to another CloudWords video. My name is Mauricio and today I'll be reviewing Sync.com. I consider Sync.com to be the best cloud storage service, especially if you need cloud storage for work or school. But is it the best for your needs? Stick around to find out. But before we get started, I just want to remind you to subscribe to our channel if you want all the latest cloud storage news. We upload expert reviews like this one all the time, so hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we release a new video, if you're interested in cloud storage, of course. So with that out of the way, let's get started with this week's review. Let's start with a quick overview of Sync.com. Sync.com is a cloud storage service, which means that it stores your files online so you can access them anywhere there is an internet connection. And like its name suggests, it can also sync files between all your devices. So you can have them on your laptop, your home computer and work computer at the same time. But what makes Sync.com special is that it's an end-to-end -end encrypted service with a strong focus on security, which we'll go into detail on later in this video. In fact, that security is the reason it topped our best cloud storage list, and you can check out that video right here if you're interested. It has also some stellar business features which make it perfect for large and small businesses or freelancers. It's also a great option for students that need to write a ton of papers thanks to, thanks to its integration with Microsoft Office. And probably best of all, it's also one of the cheapest cloud storage services we've reviewed. And it has a free version, so you can basically try it out yourself. So now that you have the lowdown on sync.com, let's kick this review off with an overview of its features. Sync.com is one of the best cloud storage services for productivity. If you're frequently adding or editing files, you'll be happy to hear that Sync.com keeps deleted files and old versions of your files for up to 180 days. And if you're on a higher tier plan, that gets extended to a full year. You can also rewind your entire account to previous state, which is very helpful for recovering from a ransomware attack. To put things into perspective, most cloud storage services keep your old files for a month at best, unless you have a special plan in place. But my favorite thing about sync.com is that the service just keeps getting better, constantly adding more features, developing their software, etc. For example, it recently released what's probably the best productivity feature, and that's finally the integration with Microsoft Office. Sync.com lets you create and edit Office documents straight from your cloud storage, and this includes Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents. This means you can start working on a file on your home computer, then go to the office and continue working on it there without needing to carry around a USB stick or a laptop or send that file via email to your account. And if you need to share files, sync.com has some of the most advanced file sharing options. You can set passwords, expiry dates, and download limits for sharing links. You can also disable downloads for a sharing link so people can't copy your file. There's even a detailed stat sheet that tells you who downloaded a file and when. Plus, you can send upload links to folders so other people can contribute to it. This is very useful when you're working with freelancers like we do at CloudWords. So it's a feature that I use quite a lot here. You can also let collaborators leave comments on shared files for quicker communication and save that email back and forth or endless Slack messaging. I'm also very excited about the space saving feature that's currently in beta called Cloud Files. Basically, this feature lets you Set files to cloud only. Files set this way won't take up any space on your computer, but you'll still be able to see them in your sync folder. The files there are only placeholders, but they'll temporarily download once you click on them. The feature isn't really out yet unless you have the beta version of the app installed, but you can expect it to land very soon and I'm super excited about that. On the downside, I'd say, it's probably not the fastest service. It performed pretty poorly in our speed test and that's mostly likely due to its encryption. Now, unless you're uploading huge files, this won't be an issue, but it still needs to be said. You can check out our full speed test on our website and we'll link to the results in the description below. Sync.com has some killer features when it comes to business users. Although these logically only come with his business plans, but don't worry, even 
If you are an individual freelancer or a contractor, you can still use them with the solo professional plan. We'll go into the pricing later on in this video, but for now, let's look at what features these plans get you. First off, you get an admin panel that gives you an overview of basically all the users on your account and gives you granular control over their permissions. As the admin, you also get the ability to reorganize user accounts, allowing you to easily shuffle stored files between different users if needed. The service is also SOC2 compliant, so you can make sure your data and your customer's data is handled securely and responsibly. You also get centralized billing, so you pay for all users together at once. But the real kicker for me, I think, especially as a video creator, is unlimited storage. Starting with the Teams Unlimited plan, you can get unlimited storage for just $15 per user per month with a minimum of two users. Even if you're just a solo entrepreneur who needs unlimited storage, you can just pay the 30 bucks per month and you'll still get your money's worth in my opinion. This is about the best deal on unlimited cloud storage you can get with offerings from Dropbox costing about twice as much. There's a few minor things like branding options, which let you add your own logo in place of the sync.com logo when sharing files, as well as toll free phone support during business hours, shall you need that. So now we come to sync.com's strongest suite, and that is security. Sync.com is a zero knowledge cloud service. And what zero knowledge means is that you are the sole holder of the encryption keys that protect your storage. Basically, to protect your files, cloud services encrypt them, which makes them unreadable to anyone without the encryption key. Usually the cloud storage provider is the one that holds these encryption keys, which means they can easily decrypt and read your files. But if you're the one holding the keys, then not even sync.com will be able to read them. That's why zero knowledge encryption is considered the gold standard for cloud storage. Zero knowledge encryption is a rare feature to have, but it's even more rare for a service to cover your entire storage with it. Usually you only get one zero knowledge folder like with pCloud and iStrive give you, and you can see our comparison of those two services in our channel if you're interested. But sync.com encrypts all your files and of the services we recommend, only Mega does that as well. And you can check out our Mega review also in the description box below, or when the video is out, just check the box here at the top. Now, because your encryption keys are generated using your password, you should never forget it, of course, because if you do, sync.com will not be able to recover your password and you'll lose all your data. That's why I recommend using a password manager to keep all your passwords in check. And speaking of passwords, you also get two-factor authentication. So even if someone discovers your password, they still won't be able to get into your account without your permission because you always get a, a push notification where you have to type in your pin to log in. All right, that's it for security, but sync.com also impresses on the privacy front. It's compliant with a bunch of different data protection standards, including HIPAA for medical data, the SOC2 compliance I mentioned, as well as the EU's GDPR and Canada's PI. PEDA regulations. So if you had any doubts about sync.com's dedication to users' privacy, I think this really puts any of those worries to bed and I feel very comfortable with my data um, in their hands. Okay, so now that you know pretty much all there is to it about sync.com, let's see what all of that will cost you, right? So first, let's look at the free plan. It gives you five gigabytes of storage, which honestly, isn't much, but it gives you basically enough to get an idea of how the service works and if it's something for you. It also blocks a few features, including the office integration and the more advanced sharing features. It'll serve you if you just need to store a few documents, but I really recommend upgrading to a paid plan. If you're set on a free cloud storage service, well, you can always check our list of the best free cloud storage services right here at the top or obviously down below the written version in the description box. I mean, sync.com's plans are just so cheap, especially when you consider all the value you get, for example, the two terabyte personal plan only costs $8 a month. There's also a six terabyte plan for individuals that comes with business features that only costs $20 per month. If you need storage for a small team of workers, you can get by with the team standard plan that costs only $5 per user per month that comes with one terabyte of storage. For larger teams, you have the unlimited storage plan that I already talked about that costs $15 per month, as well as the enterprise plan, but obviously you need to contact sick.com to get a quote for the amount of users 
users that you have. One thing to note here is that Sync.com bills all of its individual plans annually, so you pay for the whole year in advance. I personally don't find this to be an issue because you really don't want to switch your cloud storage provider very often. Only the business plans have the option to pay monthly as well, but the yearly plans obviously come at a discount, so do your calculations there and what, what's worth to you. So what's the final word on Sync.com? Well, it remains my favorite cloud storage service. I have a very soft spot for secure cloud storage services, and I feel that its productivity features just make it such a good overall package. But I do recognize it has flaws, that security comes at the cost of speed, and for some, it's just a deal breaker. We at CloudWords mainly work with documents and images, so its speed is never really an issue for us, but I really wouldn't recommend it if you, I don't know, need to edit large video files because that speed might hamper your productivity if you need to download huge amounts of files and then it takes a, uh, quite a long time. PCloud is uh, much faster and also has an awesome video player that you'll find useful and you can check out our PCloud review right here um, if you're interested. Now, that's it for our sync.com review, folks. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You basically know what you have to do. It really helps us to put out more quality content for you guys. And if you want to see more cloud storage content, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we release a new video. You can also visit our website where we go basically have detailed written reviews on anything that I'll talk about here. And you'll find links to our written review of sync.com in the description below, as well as the full written version of our best cloud storage article and our speed test results. Feel free to drop us a comment with any feedback you have or any other cloud storage services you'd like to see us cover. And as always, hope to see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>